ES Audio. Hi, I'm John Weeks, and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, more toxic air warnings expected for London. But first, has part of the Earth's core stopped turning and is actually going in reverse, but no one noticed? That's what research by China's Peking University is suggesting. After scientists examined earthquakes passing through the Earth's inner core since the 1960s, researchers looked at Alaskan seismic records of quakes in the Atlantic Ocean's South Sandwich Islands and found that since 2009, the inner core's rotation may have paused and even reversed. The inner core is separate from the Earth's outer core and rotates differently, but it's thought it could impact the Earth's rotation and therefore potentially impact our days, nights and climate. Research by online safety organisation Internet Matters has revealed many parents know little or nothing about the newly emerging dangers of the metaverse. Experiencing abuse, experiencing, for example, physical harm in the metaverse can be more, much more visceral and lifelike in its feeling than experiencing sort of verbal abuse on social media. That's Simone Weibert, Head of Policy and Research at Internet Matters who says parents need to be alert to real-world risks in the new AR, VR and XR worlds. Things like strange danger, being contacted by people they don't know, seeing content that they shouldn't really be seeing that's inappropriate for their age, whether that's sexual content or violent content. And there's also the risk involved in giving away their personal data. And they're urging the government to ensure the online safety bill keeps up. As we move towards the metaverse, it's really important that regulation keeps up. So one thing we want to see is companies being required to specify the the particular risks of their metaverse product in their risk assessments, which they're going to need to do as part of the online safety bill. Internet Matters survey shows just 33% of parents and 15% of children know enough about the metaverse to explain it. A study suggests wealthy ancient Egyptians were buried with amulets and gold in the hope it would speed up their journey to the afterlife. Using CT scans, scientists at Cairo University managed to digitally unwrap the mummified body of a wealthy ancient Egyptian boy, thought to have died at around 14 or 15 years old, 2,300 years ago. They found 49 amulets of 21 different types on the boy. Experts said many of them were made with gold and semi-precious stones, and their purpose was to protect the body and give it vitality in the afterlife. An expert in community health is warning people in London to expect more toxic air alerts in the capital this year. In March and April, what we tend to get is a lot of what we call secondary pollution coming into the south of England and into London. And that is because of all the fertilizer and pesticide use, which is used by the agricultural industry at that time of year. Professor Frank Kelly from Imperial College London has been explaining how the weather impacts toxic air levels after Mayor Sadiq Khan issued an air pollution alert on Sunday. When we get this really cold weather, then that sort of sits on the top of the city. And you can imagine putting a lid on a saucepan It just doesn't have anywhere to go, so it builds up underneath the lid and we get higher and higher air pollution in the city as a consequence. Frank told us how these high pollution levels can affect people in the city. Many people with an established health condition such as asthma or chronic obstructive lung disease, they're quite sensitive to when the air quality goes down. So it's to let them know that, you know, they should maybe think about when they are going out. Now, we've had another zinger from the James Webb Telescope. It sent back detailed shots of icy clouds in deep space where molecular species that form the building blocks for life have been found. A team of astronomers and scientists confirmed the presence of methane and ethanol, as well as some nitrogen and sulphur. Here on Earth, we see methane in emissions from oceans, landfills and cattle, while most ethanol comes from fermenting starches and sugars. Astrochemist Professor Martin Makustra said experts are increasingly certain that many of the components which led to the evolution of life had an extraterrestrial origin. Coming up, how some pet fish revealed a man's credit card details to the world. Why not hit follow and give us a rating during the break? Welcome back. 
An iceberg roughly the size of Greater London has broken away from the Antarctic near to Britain's Halley Research Station. It's called a calving event, part of the natural cycle of ice shelf growth, and this one had been expected for a while. The British Antarctic Survey has been monitoring the location for years. It's thought the 21 staff at the Halley Research Station nearby aren't in any danger, though, and will continue their work there. Scientists reckon a plant toxin with a unique way of killing off harmful bacteria could be a new alternative to modern-day antibiotics. Researchers in the UK, Germany and Poland have used a technique called transmission electron microscopy to examine how albicidin attacks bacteria. They found it works by forming an L shape between bacteria and DNA, acting like a spanner between two gears. Scientists say albicidin can kill off superbugs such as E. coli and salmonella, which are becoming increasingly resistant to modern medicine. And finally, a Japanese YouTuber who set up an experiment to see if his pet fish could complete a Pokemon video game has fallen victim to his own success. Mutakimaru set up a webcam and motion tracking software to monitor their movements and translate those into button inputs for the Nintendo Switch. After more than a thousand hours of playing, the game crashed, but the Switch continued to take button commands from the fish while Mutakimaru was away from the live stream. Eventually, they managed to navigate the console store, added 500 yen, which is around three pounds, to his account using the credit card that was stored on his Switch, and exposed the card details to everyone watching the stream. You're up to date. Come back at four o'clock for the Leader Podcasts. We will be back tomorrow afternoon at one o'clock. Catch you then.